morning, guys. How are you? Waco here from uh, Revolution. Suzanne Wong here from Revolution. Um, Pierre Jacques, the CEO and president of Debbie Thune, also a wonderful man. Flew us in a private jet yesterday. It was, it was wonderful. Thank you so much, Pierre. It was a very civilized way to come to Basel, you know? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was great. No, it, it was, was a lot of champagne, really, uh, so I don't really remember It was everything. a pleasure yeah. to, 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 uh, to make this trip uh, together with the uh, Revolution team. Thank you. It was great. So I think Suzanne's going to ask you questions about the Yellow Tones, which is the watch that you're launching here at Basel Fair. The last Basel Fair ever, yes. because yes. next year it's finished, yeah, right? That's it. yeah. Yeah. It's done. Remember this day. Get guys. your sausages now. If you want a sausage, it's a super open price sausage. Stock up on Come here now and buy it, sausages. because it's over. It's because done. Next year we're all going to exhibit in Zurich. Yeah, walking into the Basel Fair now, it's like walking to the Sahara Desert. There's like okay. three brands and then just a, a whole lot of emptiness. Right. Okay, so please, let's, let's okay. go. Yellow Tones. So, Yellow Tones. So, um, so this year, for Basel, um, you know, as you know, the Bethune is very well known for his blue. But uh, even if uh, we see uh, life in blue, in, sometimes it's nice to, you know, to explore new territory. Amazing. So, as uh, we are uh, very well known for uh, work, our work on titanium, mm -hmm. um, we, we decide to create a, a new tone, mm -hmm. uh, a new dick, a new color for our titanium uh, watches. So this is the first time I think in the contemporary hist uh, logical history mm -hmm. that we came with that uh, that color. It's a kind of yellow that we can call in French Mort de Noir. Mort de Noir, it used to be a color very, very uh, well used, you know, in the Art Deco uh, period. Uh, and, uh, and this color we also, uh, of course, as for our titanium blue uh, DB28, uh, we obtain this, uh, this coating, not coating, excuse me, this color by oxidation. So it's a certain level of oxidation. You know that the titanium, when you oxidize it, it came from yellow, purple, and blue. So, so the yellow is actually at a lower temperature than the, the titanium. Yes, it's the, the first stage. Uh, is it very difficult to get the precise color that you want exactly? Um, so yes. yes, of course, everything yes, is very really difficult. Super everything is super <laughs> difficult, super, super <laughs> technique. It's why we, we have the only Genius, yes. you know, the, so the Jedi of the watch uh, industry, Precise. Denis Flagelet. Yeah. That now it, the difficulty is, of course, that you have to prepare the the components, each component, with uh, you have to, to take care of everything. You have to be perfectly polished, perfectly clean, mm -hmm. and then, of course, you have to pair all the all the components together that the the color match. So now it's. Um, of course, it's something quite, uh, quite complicated. But it's actually better in this case that the colors don't exactly match because I think it, it provides a really nice kind of contrast. You see the slight difference in the color. It's beautiful, this effect, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, you may think that it's super easy just to like put a color on a watch. It's not. It's a very sort of long and involved process. And you either need like super specialized equipment or you need to be like super experts. Or in the case of the Betu, both, you know? It's quite interesting also because I think that there is a perception in society about what a yellow gold watch means and what it represents. Mm -hmm. I think we're fans of yellow gold as well, but what's kind of cool about this is it's kind of like the anti-gold watch, yeah, right? Exactly. Because it's got that, that sort of appearance of something that's very luxurious and initially your eye goes to it, but then you realize the color is quite different. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? It's not really the color gold. It's something yes. that's very oh, exactly. subtly different. Yeah. And then also the fact that it's in grade five titanium means you can wear it for sports and so on um, without any sort of compromise on its performance. The other thing that's important to know is the oxide treatment, which changes the watch into a yellow tone, mm -hmm. the very difficult yellow, uh, oxide treatment, um, this can be refinished as well. So if you do scratch your watch or whatever, you can send it back to Debethune for a nominal fee. Exactly. Um, less than the price of 10 sausages, uh, you would be able to have it refinished. The other thing too is um, our buddy, Denis Flagiolet, Jedi Master of High Watchmaking, not content with just creating a new type of oxide for the case, but also a new balance wheel, correct? Correct, new balance wheel and also a new Lugs with a new uh, bullet, uh, bullet lugs. Exactly. So uh, there is a, an evolution on this DB28 that maybe you, you cannot see at the first uh, look. Yes. But uh, yes, the balance wheel is the last latest uh, development of the. Tell the us factory. about the balance wheel. Like uh, so, as a 
It's, it was very difficult, right? Everything so, is super difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we've been working with Battle Fields no. for yes, a long time, yes. and this is kind of like the apex of what they've developed yeah, so far. So, so, so. No, but uh, this is uh, balance wheel uh, in titanium and white gold. So oh, white wow. gold weight. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's cool. I will not say that it is, is better than the, the, the silicium but balance wheel that we, we did before but or now. It has different It's a different way. Uh, this one is, um, is very uh, ergonomic or I say aerodynamic, so uh, for the penetration into the air, even at that. Small uh, penetration level. into the air. Yes, yes. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's It's so intense. Is that, you know, no, you know, even at that, uh, that level, it's yeah. important. Look, and I so it's really. Uh, is very accurate yes. and uh, is uh, actually the same balance wheel that we use in the uh, Stary Various, you know. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes. It's the, just the newest generation yeah, of balance yeah. wheel to come out yes. of Dibetu. Those of you who are familiar with Dibetu's history will recognize, actually, Wei mentioned very briefly, the bullet style of the LUTs at the end. I mean, for the very, very first Dibetu washes, you saw the really emphasized uh, shape of the bullets, and this kind of is a kind of throwback to the old days, like old school Dibetu, and we are loving it. The other thing too is you the can see the difference. You know? yeah. This is the side yeah. by the side. Original legs, mm -hmm. the new. Very, very subtle, and here. The, the other thing too was they used to make both small and large lugs mm -hmm. so that you would attach whichever size fit, fit your wrist. Mm -hmm. The thing now is they've gone to a medium size, which actually it's a good thing that Suzanne's wearing it. It's a, a nice demonstration that it you fits everyone's wrist. You can absolutely see how well it fits. Yeah. I've got a tiny wrist, it's like 12 centimeters round. And uh, like, look how well it fits. Even though, what's the diameter of this? Yeah. Uh, uh, the watch is 43. And it's 43 millimeters, guys. Yes. I think the other, the other thing about back to the whole balance wheel thing also is that. Um, Okay, to be fair, I don't think anyone's really going to sort of be able to sense the advantages of a more aerodynamically optimized balance wheel or not. I think the cool thing is that Debitun, since the beginning, has been making their own oscillators, and I think that's what's really interesting. I think it's very unique about um, Debitun. Right? Exactly. It's just completely symptomatic of how they do things at this manufacturer, this tiny little manufacturer up in South Park. Uh, they just do everything down to the smallest detail, and nothing is too small for their notice. You know, balance wheels, everyone, they're a dime a dozen. People buy them just like buy the car. And they make, they specify their own balance wheels. I think that's something really special. Suzanne, have you been to Saint Croix? Yes, I uh, have actually. I, 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 I remember this, uh, this winter. I'm oh, sorry, you wrote, yeah, incidentally, Suzanne's written a really good piece on, on uh, David Thune. Uh, yeah. So if you'd like to check it out, I'm sure it's some it's Maybe posted. If I can that. ask um, to Ubruz or Tiffany, can you bring me the revolution? Uh, supplement. I, I, I have the, pro, the proof yeah. that uh, this is a promotional opportunity. When I was uh, in Saint Croix, though, I saw uh, I saw the drunkest man I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> like, it was not me. <laughs> Thank. <laughs> it was like it, it was like it was like like one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, and this guy was tr he was walking his bicycle. Like he wasn't even riding it. He was walking his bicycle, and then he just fell over in the middle of the road. So I take it in Saint Croix. There's basically two things to do: is make watches and, and drink. Drink your ass off. Apparently. Yeah. All right. Which actually drink would appeal to me. Now that okay. I, yeah. Actually, Suzanne took this picture, da, you know, da, da. Sankwa in the snow. Stunning picture of Denis and, and Pierre. And, and uh, the watchmaker, and she, she did an amazing, you know, oh, uh, report about uh, about her visit in the factory. And, uh, Listen, guys, and, uh, it's yeah, uh, nice story, blah blah. But there wouldn't be anything to write about if not for the watches. Exactly, and not for uh, Denny Flashiola and then Pierre Jacques, mm -hmm. who we love. So Pierre Jacques, let's um, progress from this from. Uh, the latest watch tool, okay, and also a new watch, but a watch that was initially launched in 2006, yes. which won, won, won a revolution award in 2006, yes. way back yeah. when, but has only now materialized when. in 2019, uh, yeah. which is fine because then again, if you guys think back to the Geneva Grand Prix when uh, uh, Vianney won the Opus 3, I mean, that took like a good 15 years for it to materialize also. Exactly. And by the time it materialized, it wasn't even really the same watch anyway, right? Yeah. Um, but this watch has been made also by Denis Flageolet, who was the guy who created initially the, the Maxi Chrono. Maxi Chrono is really cool, it's a watch with a mono pusher chronograph, five hands, all coaxially mounted. The initial version was a 30 second uh, chronograph, which meant that everyone looked at it but couldn't figure out how to read it. So they've gone to a normal chronograph in 60 seconds. Yeah. And it was also a 10 hertz watch, if I'm not mistaken, but yes. this is now a five, exactly. is it five hertz? No. Five hertz. Okay. Very five. intuitive to read. And you guys will notice that it's got one of the most beautiful movements I've ever seen for a chronograph. And I'm saying this as okay. someone who's seen a lot of movements. Maybe so hey, speaking of which, uh, for those guys on, on, on live, what we'll do is we'll put the watches down here so afterwards you guys can take a closer look at them as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
So then, this is the DB21 Maxi Chronograph Redition, uh -huh. as we are uh, just told. That, uh, Design um, wise, also kind of a throwback to you know old school yeah, DB21. Yes, you know? it's, uh, yes, it's uh, the, the original dial mm -hmm. uh, that we. Uh, we refresh a little bit yes. to launch this that one, Although especially because uh, it used to be a 30 second uh, yes. uh, chronograph. Now it's a 60 second chronograph, so uh, yeah, of course it's not the, exactly the same. The dial time. of the 29 is so gorgeous as well. Mm, yeah, thank you. Very pure. Um, then here the, the, the chrome is at 6 o'clock. That uh, makes sense for a sportive chronograph. Because, as you know, if you, you drive in your sport car... Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. Pierre, are you trying to say that your thumb is much more uh, powerful than your index finger? Yes. Okay, I see. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> and faster. So, no. Uh, your, your thumb no. is faster than your index. <laughs> it's a good thing, because most guns are, of course, shot with their thumb. But anyway. So, <laughs> so we put the crown at 6 o'clock on that one. Um, how do you say? It's a 5 pence mm -hmm. uh, chrono, uh, monopressure right. chronograph in one axe. That is, uh, is very lisible, mm -hmm. and this is why we need this uh, monopressure chronograph mm -hmm. in one axe because we have one, all the information in one sec. It's mm -hmm. very cool. You need. Yeah, so, amazing. Stop. Reset. Reset. I guess we should ask you a pragmatic question, which is like, what is the price of the yellow tones, and what is the price of the maxi chrono? Yes. And how much are you? Gonna, how many of these are you going to make? Okay. Yes, very pragmatic. So the the retail without tax, mm -hmm. uh, Swiss retail without tax is ninety five thousand. Swiss franc. Yeah. Okay. That's. Uh, it's like half a pound uh, in a day time. Not the. Uh, yes. Better uh, made. Uh, that's. Uh, uh, I would say very, very fair. For what, uh, we think it's very fair. No, Thank you. I think, you. It's, I think uh, it's beyond the uh, price. And, uh, Actually, let's say that again. Say the okay. price again. And, uh, say, 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 say the price again for this. So one. the the price of uh, the yellow tone, the between the yellow tone, is ninety five. No. Okay. No. <gasps> That's yeah. so good, Pierre. Yeah, it's amazing. That's amazing. It's, it's a bargain. What yeah, a you're bargain. like, we, I make money when I buy this watch, right? Okay. Or in other words, 10 yeah. bars of what sausages. Okay. You know? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, it's a good unit of currency. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it, it's not very, you know, correct to speak about price because, uh, as you know, the no. business price. We don't talk about price, we talk about beauty and ingenuity and creativity, okay. guys. And sausages. No. Um, then uh, the Maxi Chronograph uh, Libby 28, yes. uh, 28 yes. edition is about 155. Yeah. What? Amazing! Yeah, for, uh, honestly, for the, the amount of work that went into this, it is, is, is quite extraordinary. Guys, finish, how many uh, years has this watch been in the making? Yeah. Uh, 13 years. Yeah. Took 13 years. Years to, uh, yes, to refine, to perfect. Mm. And that's mm. kind of where we are. Yeah. It's incredible. Nice, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, it's really an extraordinary watch. Um, what else do we need to talk about? I don't know. I think we're good. You want to talk about your DB27? Or uh, maybe, Fort yes. Arrow? Star we could, uh, no, Star Various, I think we already uh, yeah. present many yeah. times like here. But maybe the, the, the limited edition of five, five pieces of uh, DB27 for Faero. Oui, it works well. It's fabulous. On peut faire continuer l'interview en français. S'il vous plaît. Il ne faut pas oublier qu'il y a une audience française. C'est possible de voir le grand sport aussi Ah oui, c'est ici. Ok, so let's just segue, just because we, um, I know Pierre Jacques and, uh, and Debitin launched this uh, back in January, right? Um, and it was like the last interview of, of SES slash Geneva, so I was pretty tired, but actually this is just like the coolest watch ever. So this is the Grand Sports, a diving watch in Grand 5 Titanium, but it's got a mechanical light in it. Maybe you can show people how to operate this. Yes, ok. So then, we want to watch, especially... Yeah. Early morning, like today. Mm, yes. So, Eating as you watch. see, this is a diving watch from, uh, you know, we have a bezel. A bezel. Diving bezel. A diving bezel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have the, the second, the minute, the horror of the watch. Yeah. You have the floating lugs. And adding to that, of course, we have all the technology of the Bethune, mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, the balance wheel, last generation the twin barrels mm -hmm. and here you have a push at six o'clock and when you push you're supposed to have light but as okay, well, this, this, this is watch, a good point though because if it doesn't have enough power in it 
um, at one day power reserve, it will cut the light. So, it w and, but it will yeah. still continue to function for one day. So, you, if it's not working, you know you've got one day of power reserve left, right? Exactly. exactly. What's, now, the full, what's the full power reserve? Uh, full power reserve is five days. Okay. So, now that uh, we want correctly to watch, when I don't know if you see, if I push at six o'clock. Oh, yeah, you, anyone can see. Can see. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll put that on the table later, and then Summit will um, activate it as well, so you guys see how the lights work. So, and I think that the what's great about this is that it's got a whole alternate usage as well. So, like if you take a lot of hallucinogenic drugs, like mushrooms or whatnot, and you're in the Burning Man, and yes. you just want to like chill in your like caravan and look at your watch and just play with the light. I mean, there's yeah. another whole thing, you know, exactly. right? Exactly. Can you agree? <laughs> It's no. all sorted out. Exactly. And, like, Eleanor Picciotto, take note. And so. you guys, like, you know, don't think that this is just an expensive, like, high-end watch that you can't play around with because, as Pierre explains, this is genuinely a sports watch. One of the things that you need about sports watches, legibility, readability, and uh, above yeah. all, comfort. But they you didn't know? explain anything. And, uh, well, you did. You absolutely did. You told us the features, okay, but you didn't thank see you. what they mean. So okay. that's what they mean. They I mean well, comfort and readability. I guess I should ask you if it's a diving watch, um, what is the depth resistance of the watch? Uh, 105 meters. 105. Yes. It's pretty deep. Yes. Why five? Why, why, what was the extra five for? The extra five is, is just, uh, you know... Uh, for tall people. Uh, uh, yeah, at least yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, super tall people. Uh, like, NBA players. Uh, and <laughs> uh, uh, Denis just want to, 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 to make a tribute to Jacques Mayol. Well, the first oh. world record of Atene was 105 meters. Yeah. Yeah. As we call oh, really? this, uh, this uh, watch, um, Grand, sport, uh, Grand Bleu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big Blue, you know the movie Big yeah. Blue from Luc Besson. I love that. Jack Mayer, one of the five So, a uh, question for you. So, because this one it's not screwing in, but the actual one will have a screw down. Yes, of course. This okay. is a, still a yes for water resistance, resistance boys and girls. Fantastic. And then let's talk about your beautiful DB27. Well, this is a. Oh. A classic, guys. Classic. classic. Okay, and that one is a limited pieces of uh, limited edition, excuse me, five pieces. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on the dial side, mm -hmm. uh, what changed from the previous one is that the delta shape, the between delta shape, it is high polish, is in titanium, high polish titanium. The previous one uh, had not the, that finishing, mm -hmm. and on the back, on the back of the watch, you have a rotor. And the rotor is uh, uh, made from, uh, inspired by the, the turb of the Falcon. The turbine of the Falcon, turbine. which we were in um, exactly. yesterday, and that plane fucking rocks, right? Yes. Because I've been in like um, private jets before, and like I remember I was in one, and there was like no toilet in there, and I was like just hammered, you know, and just drank so much champagne, and I was like, okay, I need to, I need to um, visit Le Petit Coin, as they say. Uh, yes. Um, and, yeah. uh, and there was no window, there was no Petit Coin. <laughs> No. Usually you open, you just open the window. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> they, they heard you. <laughs> so, but uh, tell us about the partnership with. Uh, so it's a partnership uh, that we developed with a, 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 a private jet company. So apparently, called, someone on mushrooms is playing with the uh, the blinds. Uh, by the, uh, so, okay. <laughs> stop, bro. Stop. Oh, yeah. We're doing an interview. <laughs> so the partnership. Uh, with a Fort Aero, it's a small private jet uh, company. Of course, uh, like many partnerships, uh, uh, you know, start uh, by uh, personal relationship. Right. It's a very good friend who uh, create and develop uh, his uh, his company. Yes. Yeah, super nice and, guy. Um, by the way. Very nice yes, guy. Yeah. Uh, Arkady, thanks Arkady. Thank Arkady. you, thank you, Arkady. Okay, and uh, we he asked us to to make a limited edition five pieces for. For himself and, uh, and his, know, bodies, yeah. his bodies and uh, right. a lot of people uh, of this uh, watch, mm -hmm. but uh, with inspiration of the, the turbo of his uh, airplane, uh, and that's why we we decide to, to make a special yes. rotor. Those of you guys who are live, so it'll show you the turbine later. The exactly. turbine rotor as well. And uh, be sure to take notice of the dial as well, because the thing that I've always loved about the DB27 is the amazing micro light engraving on the dial, which is mm, nice. you know something that's just so subtle. You can just see from a distance that there's some sort of sheen and play with the light going on. When you go in, that's when it hits you. It's amazing. And last but not least, yes, <laughs> some more. Yeah. On the case, you also have you know micro decoration on the, on the case. So, cool, man. Oh, you're really spoiling us. So, thank you guys very much. Um, and Summit, we'll, we'll line up the watches here so Summit can play with them and show you some close-ups.